we are kind of disappointed from the standpoint to find out that it is a police officer who has been charged for, the, for, for this heinous crime. Um, so from our standpoint, you know, we are we're okay with the communication and everything thus far. But of course, you know, um, there are questions in the back of our minds, which is normal, especially when we look at all that's been surfacing that this particular individual, the alleged perpetrator, um, you know, has been charged and, and has been involved in several different, different um, uh, incidents and crimes and, and have been able to walk away from every single one of them for whatever reason. And so that gives us some cause for concern. But I, I also want to say here, while I say that, uh, Pastor Wade, while we have our questions about the system, um, where the police is concerned, we know that there are some very good and upstanding police officers in the force. So in no way, shape or form, are we would we throw the entire force under the, under the bus. But we do have our concerns and we are hoping and praying, you know, that, that they will be objective and, and, and will go about it the right way. Everybody in this situation wants justice. And we are cautiously optimistic that we will get justice from a physical human standpoint. Because we know that there are sometimes loopholes in the system and sometimes people walk from these crimes, not because they are not guilty, but because of technicalities. Do you believe that, or does the family believe that there is the need for a wider independent investigation? Well, of course, we, we, we like many families who find themselves in this situation, would, would, would want to um, rally for something like that because you know it's involving if it's involving duels from within the department then it is something that that you know you'd want some independent international investigator to be investigating so that you know we'll be able to get uh, uh, more objectivity and, and both sides